Hello everyone, it's Seaput Magur again here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a clean installation of Windows 10 using a Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive. If you have not created a Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive, you can follow the guide in my other tutorial on how to create a Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive, whose link I've included on this video's description. If you want to upgrade your current Windows to Windows 10 on an existing drive, you can still follow this guide, as I will explain later the step where you can choose to do an upgrade or a clean installation. For this tutorial, I'll be installing Windows 10 on my old Asus X441U laptop with 2GHz Intel Core i36006U, 4GB of RAM and 500GB of hard drive. Alright, let's get started. So first, plug in the Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive to your PC. And before you turn on your PC, please take note that, if you are installing Windows 10 on a PC that has got an operating system, you will need to enter the boot options menu in order to boot your PC from the Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive. But if you are installing Windows on a blank drive, you may choose not to enter the boot menu, as your PC will automatically boot up from the bootable USB flash drive. In order to enter the boot menu, you will need to press the boot menu key on the keyboard immediately after you press the power button. Please also take note that the boot menu key varies between laptop brands and PC motherboards. For Asus laptops, I can press escape key to enter the boot menu. For HP laptops, you can try pressing escape or F9 key. Or for some HP laptop models, they have a special sunken boot menu button on the side of the laptop that you can poke with a pin to enter the boot menu from powered off state. In general, you can try pressing either escape, F2, F10 or F12 key. So now I'm going to press the power button and then immediately press the escape key to enter the boot menu. On the boot menu, select the boot device whose name starts with UFI by pressing the down arrow key on the keyboard. In my case, I select UFI SanDisk Partition 2. And then press enter to boot the PC from the Windows 10 bootable flash drive. On the language, time and keyboard layout options dialog, you can select your preferred language, time and currency format, as well as the desired keyboard layout. And then click next. On the next confirmation dialog, click install now. Then wait for a moment until the Windows installer shows the Windows 10 edition list. On the Windows 10 edition list, select the Windows 10 edition you'd like to install. For this tutorial, I'm going to select Windows 10 professional edition and then click Next to continue. On the Microsoft Software License Terms dialog, tick the I accept the license terms checkbox. Then click Next to show the Windows installation types. And now this is one of the critical steps of the Windows installation. If you are upgrading to Windows 10 and want to keep the existing files, settings and applications, select Upgrade. But if you are installing Windows 10 on a blank drive, or want to do clean installation on an existing drive partition, select Custom. This installation type will allow you to manage your drive partitions before installing Windows. In this tutorial, I'm going to select Custom because I'm installing Windows on a blank unpartitioned drive, and I want to show you how to partition a hard drive before installing Windows on it. So I click Custom, and this will bring us to the Drive Partition List dialog where we can choose the drive partition where Windows 10 should be installed. On the Drive Partition List dialog, Windows Installer will show all the drive partitions of all the drives on your PC. If you are installing Windows on a blank drive like the one I'm using in this tutorial, you will see one drive named Drive 0 Unallocated Space, as shown here. If you have a drive of 256GB or larger, I would recommend that you partition your drive so that you can keep your personal files separate from Windows and program files. This way, it will be very convenient for you to do clean reinstallation on the same drive in the future. So to partition a hard drive, select the drive to be partitioned on the drive list. And then click New. On the Size text box, enter the desired size of the partition in megabytes. But before we continue, please take note that 1 gigabyte here equals to 1024 megabytes, not 1000 megabytes. In addition, when creating the first primary partition, Windows Installer will also create two additional small partitions for system files on that drive usually of 100 megabytes and 16 megabytes respectively. For this tutorial, I want the first primary partition, which is for Windows and program files, to have a size of 120 gigabytes. 
So to create the first primary partition of 120 GB, I will have to key in 1024 times 120 plus 116, which comes out as 122996 MB. Then click Apply. And then on the information dialog shown, simply click OK. As we can see here, Windows Installer creates three partitions of type system, MSR, and primary respectively. And then to create another partition, select Drive 0 unallocated space, then click New, and then enter the desired partition size. For this example, I'm going to split the remaining unallocated space into two more partitions. One will be 120 gigabytes in size, and the other will take up the remaining space. So first I will key in 122880, and then click Apply. And then I select the Drive 0 unallocated space one more time, followed by clicking New, and then I simply click Apply. As we can see here, now I have five partitions on my Drive 0. Two for systems, one for Windows and program files, and two for my personal files. If you are installing Windows on a drive that has been partitioned before, you should have a drive partition list similar to this one. Now to continue Windows 10 clean installation, select the partition where you'd like to install Windows. For my case, I will select Drive 0 Partition 3. Then click Format to format the selected partition. On the warning dialog, click OK. This will wipe out all the existing files in that partition for a clean Windows installation. You should also format any other newly created partitions now, although you may do it later from Windows. After the format is completed, click Next to start Windows 10 installation on the selected partition. This step will take about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the type and speed of your drive as well as the speed of your bootable USB flash drive. During this installation process, your PC will restart automatically a few times. So don't worry, please sit back and relax until Windows prompts you to select your region. On the region selection page, select your region and then click yes. And then on the keyboard layout selection step, select your desired keyboard layout, then click yes. On the second keyboard layout page, you may add a second keyboard layout by clicking add layout. For this tutorial, I will simply click skip. And then on the connect to a network step, Select the network you'd like to connect to, then click Connect. Enter the network security key if required, and then click Next. If you don't have an internet connection, click I don't have internet at the bottom left corner of the screen. Once you're connected to a network, click Next. Windows will then start doing some important setup and download some latest updates, which takes quite a moment. After the setup is completed, you'll be prompted to specify what your PC will be used for. For this tutorial, I will select Setup for Personal Use, then click Next. And then on the Account Setup page, instead of creating a Microsoft account, I will just create a local offline account on my PC. To create an offline account, click Offline Account at the bottom left corner of the screen. Then on the following step, I will click Limited Experience at the bottom left corner of the screen. On the offline account name dialog, enter the desired username for the offline account. And then click Next. On the offline account password page, enter the desired password. Then click Next. Retype the new password to confirm, and then click Next. On the security questions dialog, select the security question for your password and type in your answer. Then click Next. 
Repeat this step three times. And then on the privacy settings page, I will turn off all the settings. After that click accept. Then on the customize your experience page, you can click all the desired options. For this tutorial, I will simply click skip. On the activity history, I will simply click no. You can choose to click yes if you prefer. Windows will then finalize the installation process which will take about one or two minutes. Once Windows 10 is ready, as a final step, make sure that all your device drivers have been installed. To do that, right-click the Windows Start menu button and then click Device Manager. Look for the devices with warning sign icons. If your PC is connected to the Internet, Windows usually will automatically check the Internet and install all the latest device drivers for your PC upon successful installation. So do give it a few minutes to complete the device driver's installations. But if you want to force Windows to search the internet for the best available device driver for your device, right-click the device and then click Update Driver. Then on the Update Drivers dialog, click Search Automatically for Drivers. Windows will then search the internet for the best available driver for your device. All right. So that's how easy it is to do a clean Windows 10 installation. I hope you find this tutorial useful. And if you do, please hit the like and subscribe buttons for more tutorials like this in the future.